first you need to download Kali image file from Kali.org so simply open the browser and type Kali.org and press enter so go to the download section and scroll down to the Kali ARM images and now you can see the images for various single boards so go to the Raspberry Pi foundation and select Raspberry Pi and save this image so it will take little bit time to get download so I will back after it downloaded so now you can see this image but this image file is in XZ format so we have to unzip this file by using 7 zip so this is a link you have to download from so download this and get installed I already downloaded and installed in my PC so just simply I will open this application and go to the that path where this Y Z file is located and I will select it and extract this file so it will take a little bit time it around 10 to 12 minutes so relax and wait for it will get completed now you can see the extraction process is completed and now you can see this ISO file over in this this folder this is this is this image file now you have to transfer this image file to your SD card so you need SD card I using Samsung 16 GB SD card with USB adapter you also use the SD card adapter so just plug it into your PC and do its work so I will plug this in my laptop and let's start the next process now your USB SD card is plugged in now you need download SD card formatter from this website which is in to the description box so scroll down and here we see SD card formatter for Windows and Mac download this SD card formatter and get installed I already downloaded and installed in my PC so I just only open it and now you see the dislocation so select this location and quick format and say format it will take few seconds to get formatted and your format is come formatted is completed so now you need win32 this image so open your browser and go to this link which is also into the description and 
download Win32 Disk Imager. Download and get installed in your PC. I already downloaded this Win32 image. So just I simply open Win32 image. Now you have to select the your disk image file from the your PC. So I will select the disk image file and open this and select the SD card and write and it will send me warning message as a yes and it will take some 10 to 12 minutes to get right so wait for it now your writing process is going to finish and you say write successfully okay, okay. now your work is done so now you need the raspberry pi i using raspberry pi 3 model b and your memory card just plug your memory card into it and connect your raspberry pi to monitor now it's automatically detected that you are install Kali Linux so it's automatically get booted you can see it's booting window and it will now asking your login id and password by default its login id is root and password is t double o r and yes okay now the kali linux is get installed in your raspberry pi so thanks for watching and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you